just want to move on So I have got to be strong I know I have to go on That's why And now I know what to do Although I know it hurt you But I just can't follow through Good afternoon. Afternoon, Javi. Trip, congratulations. You get to start out today's vlog, mate. All right, today we are on Liberty's campus. We got here about two hours before game time, you know, get a little acclimated to the surrounding area. A lot of girls haven't been before, a lot of new construction. Right now we're walking over to this new building over here. We're gonna explore campus a little bit while they have chapel. So keep rolling with us. This is for Coach Javi right here. So Trip, what do you do mate before the games? How do you prep the girls so that they're match ready? Sometimes we throw a little tape on them, sometimes ankle tape, other tape for other ones. Um, hydration, hydration is key. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. More than you think you should drink, always a go-to before the game. And you should be hydrating days in advance. So if you're hydrating the day of, too late. Um, so just a lot of tape, making sure they're hydrated, stretch them out and Go win, that's the goals for the day. The girls are in chapel right now. We are, I'm gonna get the field set up in a little bit, so I gotta go lay out the cones so that when the girls get, get out there for the warm up, everything's already ready. He gets the girls ready in terms of taping, taping ankles, all that stuff, treatment, anything that they need. We got about 20, 30 minutes before the warm up starts, so I will update you guys with how the game goes, but for now, Coach Javi's gotta go and get ready, mentally prepared right now for this match. So, we'll see you guys in a little bit. So unfortunately, the girls took the L. We lost 1-0. It was a good game. They played pretty well, but it is what it is. Now, the good news is the boys, the first team, traveled to Furman, who apparently is the number eight team in the country right now, and they won 5-4 in double overtime. So the boys are buzzing. They're pretty excited about that. On to the first conference game of the season at Liberty for the men. That was a big, big win. But we have more important things on our hands, people. Little backstory here. If you're Mexican, you know that Mexican moms are like extra dramatic. This is what happened. My mom called me this morning. I was in the shower. I answered the phone and I told her, I was like, give me five minutes, I'll call you back, right? Completely forgot to call her back. Big, big issue. So now my mom's all dramatic about it, right? So she sends me this right now. Loosely translated to say, as of today, I am no longer your subscriber. You idiot, you ignored me. Me, your mother, who loved you, or who used to love you. I don't know, sniff, 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 sniff. <laughs> So she's being really, really dramatic, right? The issue with this is, again, if you're Mexican and if you ever want to do anything, the most important part about doing something is making sure you have your mom's permission. You should know this, right? Now there's two ways you go and get your mom's permission. First one is you hope she's in a good mood. You ask very, very nicely. And if she says yes, boom, got your mom's permission. Now if she says no, the only other way to get her permission is to bug her about it so much that at the end, she's just like, ya, lárgate, chingada madre, vete de aquí, lárgate, haz lo que tú quieras. Now, because I forgot to call my mom back in the morning, we have a bit of an issue, mate. Coach Javi went to go make another financial decision that will have him eating ramen noodles for the rest of his life. And I have to call my mom about it and ask for permission. And because I didn't call her back in the morning, I don't know how well this is gonna go. Let's find out. Hello? Bueno, bueno. Buenas tardes. <laughs> Finalmente. Pero en el ratito me, me, me unsuscribo. <laughs> ya, ya no te vas, sí. ya, ya no vas a ser mi subscriber. 
No, ya no. Porque no me pones atención. Ay, no, güey, no. Hasta, hasta, hasta yo me espanté que dramática me vi. No seas dramática, man. No seas tan dramática. ¿Qué, ¿Qué te parece si me compro una nueva computadora? Mac. Ah, pues sí. ¿La de veras? No, pues sí. Yo desde cuando te dije que yo quería que te compraras una computadora. Ah, perfecto. ¿Por qué? Porque yo me la compré. <risa> ok, mi amor, ahora okay. échale ganas, que Dios te acompañe okay, también. Ok, thank you, madre, okay, muchas gracias. Ok, está bien, me voy a suscribir para atrás. <risa> ok, te quiero mucho, madre, gracias. Yo también te okay. quiero mucho, Tantin, bye. Bye. Boom, Coach Javi is mom approved. All right, so now, got some more office work to do, and uh, we continue with our day, my friends, we continue with our day. All right. And guess what, my friends? We are back at it again. We're gonna start a new segment, and this segment is gonna be called Coach Javi Smacks Coach Kashami in Table Tennis. Coach Kashami says it's a bunch of editing. I mean, don't, have you not heard from your parents? Do not believe everything you see on the internet. Kashami, you ready, son, to get smacked again? I Episode mean, I'm three. High on ca caffeine right now, I'm ready, bitch. Let's All go. Right. And we're off. Where's the handle? Hey, this is, for Mate. me, it's psychologically disturbing with the blue one. Look at that. I can live with it. Look blue. at that. He always, he always gives me the crap. Look at this. Oh, hey, one nil. <laughs> no, sorry, mate. No, sorry. I don't apologize for skills. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to another Thank episode you. of Ali beating Coach, Coach Kashami gets absolutely smacked against I Coach Javi. What are you I don't mate, I won. mate, I just want to laugh. You had an absolute nightmare, won. mate. Absolute nightmare. See, that's why you still believe your parents when they say, "Do not believe everything you see on the internet." Mate, still counts. Horrible. Still relevant to 2017 <laughs> and Coach Javi's post. <laughs> All right. Well. Coach Kashami just got absolutely battered in table tennis. But now we're back at it again with another episode of Coffee Shop Sessions. The mobile version today, because we're on the walk. All right, Coach Kashami, the question for today would be on the defending topic. What do you think are important qualities of a defender nowadays that you look for as opposed to some of the older times with the traditional kinds of defenders? Well, we all know that, you know, back in the day and especially for some of the yo you younger guys are watching this, you're thinking that the requirement for, for example, say wing backs or full backs and defenders in general is I, I have to be good on the ball. Yes. And that's very, very true because back in the day, the focus on defending was what? Defending. You have to be a good defender. You have to be a good 1v1 defender. You have to be good in positional play. Like you have to understand your, how to posi position yourself defensively, you know, mark set pieces and, you know, Pure, basically be a pure defender nowadays and and coach Javi brought up a good player as his example is Sergio Ramos he is good he's as good offensively as he as he is defensively work on your offensive skills as well like work on overlapping crossing first touch you know third man movement stuff like that I mean being very being good on both sides of the ball is a very very important and for me it's understanding the role your role on the team. Like when I'm talking about your role, I'm talking about your position, understanding what does a right back, what, what does a right back really do? What does a left back do? And I think that's one of the things that's neglected nowadays. We only talk about soccer skills or tactical you know, decisions on the field, but we never talk about what does a center back do? What does a number six do? What is his primary role on the field? And if you know that, 
then I think you can take your game to the next level. And this has been another quick installment of Coffee Shop Sessions, the mobile version. All right, on we continue with our day, my friends. We are here with Puck, absolute legend right here. Gardner Webb Hall of Famer Puck. What day is it? Is it game day today, Puck? It's game day. It's game, game time. day for Tonight the reserves. At Seven o'clock reserves. How do you think we're gonna do, Puck? We're gonna do good. We're gonna score some goals. We gotta get into um, get into a winning mode because then we travel Thursday to Lee's McCray, so we, we gotta start winning. Yeah. And tonight is the night. So. Million dollar question: How bad is your golf swing? Oh, well, it's getting better because since I, I last um, played with with Ali, and looking at his swing and then looking at my swing, I think I think I have the best golf swing right now between him and myself. So. Uh, it's getting good. Went out and got me um, a, a golf set, so I've been working on my swing, and um, I think Ali needs to do the same. <laughs> opportunity you keep possession you, I made a video with Javi today why do we keep possession you keep possession in order to penetrate them ultimate goal of possession is what score, score, score goal. goal ultimate goal of defending is what Not to score to score goal that's ultimate goal you try to win the ball the ultimate goal is in the end after you won it you want to score goal right Yamak yeah. is that clear yeah okay good um, Rudy is captain we got everything. Everyone knows their responsibilities. Everyone knows everything. Ethan expects you to be a leader out there. Luke. Sorry, Captain Luke, not Rudy. Rudy, you out. No, yeah, you're still playing. <laughs> <laughs> he's not captain. Yeah, he's the captain, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>